being a private investigator sure isn't what it's cracked up to be. I hope we get some action soon. This riding around with a bullseye on my butt is getting a little old. Uh, look on the bright side, we're getting paid by the day. The longer it takes to smoke out the hijackers, the bigger the payday. Maybe I ought to buy a harmonica. Yeah? Maybe I ought to start singing. <laughs> Sorry, I mentioned it. The plot thickens. A detour? This wasn't here yesterday. This doesn't feel right. Hold on! There's rock and roll. Easy guys, coming down. Get up, come on, now! You guys are just the best. Your daddy'd be so proud of you, Trent. Well, thank you, Mr. Jordan. No, thank you. Thank you both. You saved my company. I, I don't know how I'll ever be able to repay you. Well, actually, sir, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. We've, um, we totaled your bill. $3,700? Yes, sir. You boys saved me a lot more than that. However, I'm... I'm currently in a bit of a cash crunch. Don't you know you can't put a price How sweet it is. Show me the money. Yeah, those hijackers are out of business. At Blue Star Trucking, we'll be able to stay in business thanks to us. Excellent. But where's the money? Because I, I, I got to get to the bank like yesterday. Yeah. Why do you see this? Hasta la vista, Beanie Babies. It's time. Some ugly uglies. We really got lucky on this one. Jordan, he's an old friend of my dad's, you know? Yeah. Well, anyway, after all these hijackings, he was a little strapped for cash. No, because the insurance company cut him off, you know? Uh, exactly. So anyway, he paid us with 200 of these things. I cannot even believe this. You guys have done it again? Did I mention he was a friend of my dad's? You just do not get it, do you? If you guys keep doing freebies for, for lunches and sports tickets, you're gonna be selling your snuggly uglies or whatever the hell they're called out on the streets. This is a business, okay? Not a charity. And if you don't start treating it that way, I am gonna wring your necks, okay? Hi, Alex. Can I catch you at a bad time? Hi, Alex. Of course not. Hi, Alex. Good to see you. I've got a favor to ask. I'd join the army to babysit a bunch of missiles. Yeah.
Sorry. Well, at least this is one favor that's not costing us anything. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one throwing darts to see who's gonna spend a weekend in the woods with a bunch of kids. You want to just concede? Throw a dart. Woo, what's with the Battle Royale here? Oh, Alex and Walker were going to take some kids from the center on a camping trip this weekend, but the governor called Walker and asked him to brief his staff on the rise of anti-government militia groups. So the loser here has to take his place on the camp out. And that would be Carlos. It ain't over till it's over. It's over, buddy. Well, up those hiking boots, because somebody is going to camp. Next time we're playing pool. <laughs> you got it, you got it. <laughs> Woo! Carlos, let me ask you something. Is there room for one more kid on a camping trip? Uh, I'll check. Who'd you have mine? Well, a little girl named Danielle Koshak. You see, her daddy, Big Joe, walked out on her and her mama hadn't been heard from since. Just like that? Yeah, pretty much. Danielle's taking it pretty hard. She's only 12 years old. I'll talk to Alex. I'm sure it'll be fine. Thank you. That's all great and everything, but a camping trip isn't what this kid needs. What she needs is her dad. That's why we're gonna find Big Joe. Ooh, now jump back, Loretta. Look, Brenda can't afford you guys right now, and right now, neither can I. Don't even worry about that, Butch. This one's on us. I haven't been home for a week because I'm trying to keep my family out of this. I don't want your excuses, Big Joe. Where's our money? I just need a little more time. I ain't going anywhere. You know that I would cut you all the slack you're gonna get, Kolshek. Look, watch it, Big Joe. I'm sorry. I don't have the money I borrowed. Then I guess we're just gonna have to settle this some other way. We have a printing job for you, Kolshek, starting now. <clears throat> Men, the best way to get the government's attention is to inflict heavy civilian cash with as little resistance as possible. However, during the attack, the government agents raised their ugly heads. I assure you, we're more than capable of chopping them off. Tomorrow, we're gonna put our lives on the line. Just as you know, you can trust me to watch your backs. Even take a bullet for you if it comes to that. I know I can trust each and every one of you to do the same thing for me. But maybe I should say almost each and every one of you. You see, man, one of you is a government agent. Or to put it more bluntly, an ATF agent. That's right, man, ATF. A member of the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Agency has infiltrated our organization. I really resent that. How you doing, Agent? You kill any women or babies lately? You got 15 seconds. Get over that fence. Starting now! Boy can move. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ranger walk us up. We might see some wild animals. Do you think that? Do you think we see a bear? No, Walker. I walked the streets for seven years chasing bad guys. So how come I'm worried about a walk in the woods with a bunch of kids? Because kids can be more challenging than any thugs you've gone against. See what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. Could you excuse me for a moment? Hey, Butch. Hey, Alex. Alex, I'd like you to meet the two very good friends of mine. This is Brenda Danielle Kolshak. Brenda Danielle, this is Alex Cahill. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Same to you, Miss Cahill. Well, I'm gonna go help uh, Carlos and Walker Luda. Danielle, I'm really pleased that you're gonna join us on our Hope Center camp up. I really appreciate this, Miss Cahill. I think Danielle and I could use a little bit of a break from each other. Haven't been getting along too well, have we, honey? We used to be best pals. Well, that.
that can happen between mothers and daughters. A little time apart can do wonders. Come on, I'll introduce you to the other kids. Good luck on your briefing. I hope you can join us tomorrow. I hope so, too. <laughs> Have a good time, kids. Okay. I don't think I know you. Oh, Danielle, this is Ranger Walker. Walker, this is Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Investigations, this is Kim. Hi, Butch. Please. Sure, we'll be right down. Hey, come on, let's go. Just finishing up my statement to the police on the Blue Star trucking case. Okay, well, that's gonna have to wait because Butch has Brenda Kolshek downstairs in the bar. We gotta talk to her about finding her husband. We? Yeah, Trent. One of the reasons that I took this job was to learn about investigation. Okay, I can't learn behind a desk. Did we talk about this? Like you don't remember. Come on, to me. Oh boy. Do you need some help? See everybody. We all work together. It's easy. Anybody flakes up, makes it harder for everybody else, and that's especially true out on the trail. So we're all gonna work together as a team, right? Yeah. Great. Okay, if everybody's got their packs on, let's hit the trail. Remember, this trip is about two things. Number one, trust. Trust yourselves and trust each other. And number two, and this is the most important, it's about having fun! Yeah! Are you with me? Yeah! Let's go. How do you do that? <laughs> Hold up, Danielle. Here. Let me help you with that. It's kind of a trick to it. There. How's that? <laughs> it's fine, thanks. What a dork. <laughs> I said it's fine. Come on, Kolshak, hurry up. Start printing that next batch of money. I'm just about got her. Jack, why don't you tell us about your husband's disappearance? My sister thinks he ran off on us. But I just don't believe he would do that. Joe adored Danielle. And these past five years since he's been sober, Joe's a different man. And you know, Butch said he really turned things around. Yeah. He also said that Big Joe lost his job. Two months ago, he was working as a printer. Damn good one, too. He was the only one that could keep those old presses running. But then the company modernized and got rid of the old equipment. It's all computers now. They laid off half the workers, including Joe. Where do you think he got the money to pay the bills? I think he borrowed it from some of the scum he used to hang out with. Somebody said they saw him down at the raindrop inn. But I know he wasn't drinking. I know it. What do you think happened to your husband? I don't know, but I know that he didn't run out on us. He loves us. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> this rain drop in's a real dive, huh? You can let me do the talking, right? Yeah, no problem. Good. Bartender, can I get a couple of sodas, please? I'm also, I'm looking for a guy named Big Joe Kolshak, you know? I'm new here. What do you want with Big Joe? You know? I know I'm thirsty. And I'm as dry as a I don't even want to know. Bartender, can we get another round for these gentlemen, please? Kolshak used to be a regular here. But that was a couple years back. I heard he was in recently. I'm gonna tell you, 
Me and my partner here, we got a big drinking day ahead of us. And that could run into some money. Kosak was in with a couple of Cardone's boys. Cardone doing what? You know, they didn't look like they were meaning on Joe to me. Let me tell you something. When those boys lean, they lean hard. I always figured Cole Shack could end up back in the gutter. It's just not so fast. Between that wife of his and that brat kid. Hold on a second, DePel. Are you saying it's their fault? What makes you such an authority on family life, you big tub of lard? Uh, thanks, guys. You've been a big help. You know, from here, I'm looking at you and I'm thinking to myself, what woman in her right mind? Shut your mouth! Running out on those two is probably the smartest thing Big Joe ever did. Ah, oh, you piece of garbage. She's sorry. We're done here, all right? Hey, I'm not. Get out of here. Thought I told you to let me do the talking. What'd I say? How's that pack, Danielle? It's not rubbing, is it? It's okay. Looks like Miss Cahill has a new pet. Steve! Slow down! You threw a drink in a 250-pound man's face. Something got to you. It's no big deal. Sir, do you want some coffee? Let's sit down. Trent, I swear it's no big deal. No, no, no. When you say that, I know it is a big deal. Now, come on, Tim, level with me. Why is this case so important to you? I don't know. I guess I just I feel sorry for Danielle. And I like Brenda. Okay, she reminds me of my mom. My dad left my mom when I was 11, and it nearly killed her. You know, they fought all the time, but she was so in love with him. And, you know, she, she, she always used to talk about how happy they were when they first got married. And I could never quite get it out of my head that his leaving might have been my fault. And I guess it's taken me a long time to get around that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I haven't still. But see, that's exactly why I want to find Joe, because then at least he can tell Danielle that it wasn't her fault. I'll find him, Kim. Come on, Kolshak, hurry up. Cardone wants his money delivered on sketch. Yeah. All right, they got a line to say Anthony Cardone. That's his hangout right there at the Hyperion Avenue Social Club. Now, this hombre is bad news, Trent. He gets a piece of every dirty dollar in Metroplex. Cardone is a killer. Your money's being printed as we speak. Did you have any trouble bringing in the heroin? No trouble at all, Mr. Cardone. Good. Well, we're right on schedule here. So the transaction will be done at 11, just like we planned. Excellent. It's a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Long. Likewise, Mr. Cardone. Don't you want to play? It's fun. I'd probably drop someone. Oh, no, you won't. Not with everyone helping. You don't know me. I'd find a way to screw it up. I'm a loser. Well, that's not what I heard. I heard you were a great student and a terrific basketball player. My grades are in the toilet, and I quit the team. Who needs the pressure? You have been under a lot of pressure since your dad left, haven't you? Both you and your mom. I sure didn't help much. 
You know I got arrested for shoplifting? Like my mom can afford a lawyer. I don't blame my dad for leaving. I mean, I don't know my two if I could. Danielle, I don't know what happened with your dad. But I know that your mom loves you very, very much. She told me you were her very best friend. And she needs her friend right now. Come on. Let's go play. I want to catch you. <laughs> All right. Oh, I <laughs> Ready? Or After the attack, we will insist on the release of our fellow freedom fighters who have been imprisoned by the government. And finally, we will demand $100 million to help us continue our struggle. Nothing less than the fate of the free world hangs in the balance. We will not fail. So how's Danielle doing? She's really hurting, Carlos. I sure hope Trent can find her dad. Have a taste tempting array of choices for your breakfast pleasure this morning. We have oatmeal. If you don't like oatmeal, we have oatmeal. And of course, we have oatmeal. I think I have the oatmeal. Excellent choice, sir. Shoot, ding darn it, that's what I was gonna have. Okay, but first we need firewood. So here's the drill uh, Malik Carmen, you're my team. Steve, Mickey, we need you to strike the tents. Okay, then Kim and Joey, I want you to police the area. Remember our rule. We take only memories, we leave only footprints. Last but not least, we need water. Heather, Danielle, could you please fill these? Fine. All right, you two, come help me strike these tents. I'll teach you how. While you're at it, fill those two. Oh, I totally will. You can count on it. Your father split, so all of a sudden you're special? Shut up! You're such a drag. No wonder he left. To get away from you. I said shut up, okay? You don't know anything. Wrong. I know you're a thief. I know all about you. Alex told me everything. No. She had some kind of tantrum and ran off. We'll talk later. You kids stay right here. I'll be right back. do something like that. I don't know what Heather said to you, but I didn't tell her anything. You gotta believe me. Come on, let's get back to camp before the others start working. Down at the water pump. 
What happened anyway? Why would Danielle run off like I'll that? I'll tell you what happened. Heather's been ragging on her. Yeah. It's not my fault. She's unstable or something. Yeah, right. Okay, okay, okay. Now look, they've been gone over an hour. They must be lost. So listen up. Everything we've learned about relying on each other and trust pays off right now. I'm gonna go find Alex and Danielle, and I'm relying on you guys to stay calm, but most importantly, to stay put. Are you gonna show me that I can trust you? Yeah, you yeah, can trust us for along. Okay. Sorry. I told you I was a total screw up. Danielle, this is not your fault. Besides, we're gonna get out of here. You ready to move in 1100 hours? What about the uh, prisoners? We'll take care of them before we go. I just got word that Cardone's at his hangout. I'm gonna head on over there now. Maybe I can get a lead on Big Joe Kolshak. Um, don't you want me to cover your back or something? Uh, thanks, Starsky, but somehow I feel safer without you. <sighs> However, there is something I want you to check for me, though. What? If Big Joe is still alive, there's gotta be a reason he's gone missing. So you agree with Brenda that he didn't run out on them? Uh, maybe. Brenda mentioned the printer that he worked for sold off their old presses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The presses that only he can keep running. Which could be a very valuable skill. See if you can find out where those presses wound up, all right? Oh, okay, sure, you got it. Good. <sighs> okay. I, I completely understand, and I'm, I'm terrified sorry, but Mrs. Vandergriff specifically requested that the invitations be printed on the X4R printer. She feels the new laser process is a bit, um, you know, tacky. <laughs> so, uh, perhaps you could tell me to whom the old equipment was sold? Uh-huh. Yes, I see. You have the address to whom it was delivered? Oh, oh, yes, that would be a, a tremendous help. Thank you very much. Come on, Trent. Pick it up, pick it up. I'll go check on the printing presses myself. Relax. I just want to ask you a couple of questions. Where's my driver? He's taking a little nap. Looking for this? I'll just hold on to it for a second while you tell me where Big Joe Kolshak is. Who the hell are you? Trent Malloy. I'm a PI. And you're asking about... Big Joe Kolshak. Never heard of him. I'm going to find him, Cordon. And for your sake, you better be in one piece when I do. Have a nice day, Cordon. Hey, kids. There we go. Hey, okay. Where's Miss Cahill and Mr. Sandoval? Danielle ran off, and Miss Cahill went after her. When they didn't come back, Mr. Sandoval went to look for them. How long have they been gone? Forever. For about two hours, Ranger Walker. Look where they go. That way. Over there. OK, you kids stay here. OK, Ranger Walker.
to see your family again. You better finish this job on time, Big Joe. Looking for something? Uh, hi. Sorry you kind of caught me off guard. I'm Lola Falana with Falana Realty, and I was wondering if you were interested in selling. I would love to get my hands on this property, and I'm telling you what, the business is red hot right now. Oh, um, I'm, I'm gonna take that as no. <laughs> Tell you what, if you change your mind, why don't you give me a call? Ow. Now, who are you, really? I told you, I'm a PI, all right? Yeah, Brenda Kolshak hired me to find out what happened with her husband. Okay, now that I know that he's alive and well, I can go tell her. You're not going to be telling Brenda anything for her own good. Big Joe's still got work to do. Excuse me, Butch, have you seen Kim? She was supposed to be checking something out for me. Yeah, she ran out of here like a scalded cat about an hour ago. Said if I saw you to give you this. Said something about cracking a case, whatever that means. What it means is trouble. I'm right behind you. She hadn't lost your sense of timing. They've got Alex and Danielle down on that porch. Some kind of paramilitary outfit with a lot of firepower. Yeah, looks like they're moving out. Let's go. Who the hell is she? Carter snooping around. Says she's a PI. Oh, another P.I. But that don't matter to me, because when the deal's done, they're both history. Hey, how about them cowboys, huh? One billion counterfeit Japanese yen. Perfection. Excellent. Why is it I can't leave you alone for a minute? What? It's about time you got here. Would you stop for a cappuccino? Let's go find anyone. Mr. Cardone, you've just purchased 200 kilos of the finest Cambodian heroin. I want you men to find out what happened to Jackson and Carter. Let's move!
going on? Where are the rest of the men? Jackson and Carter went to eliminate the prisoners and didn't report back. I sent a detail out to look for them. Let's go. about the cappuccino. And I was only kidding about leaving you alone. Well, you could have gotten here sooner. Uh, there you go, Big Joe. Trent, we found them. Thanks, Butch. I can't thank you enough. You will. I was thinking, you know, maybe a little martial arts training might be a good idea for the next time I get into a situation like that. Oh, wait a minute. What, what next time? OK, you know what, Carlos? Don't you even start, because Trent and I already had this discussion. What discussion? I really don't think discussion is what you would call it, Kim. Okay, okay, you know what, you're right. It, it, it wasn't a discussion, it was more of an understanding. Do you get the feeling we've created a monster? Oh, just a little. Well, you know what, you might as well face the facts. Every good PI agency needs a female op. You guys, I'm telling you what, you got a lot to learn. Op? Oh, duh. Butch, Tom. Will. Hey, look who's here. Hey, uh, Brenda, Joe. Hey, sweetheart. We just want to thank you. All of you. Butch told me how hard you pushed to find me, Kim. I'm not sure why, but I'm very grateful. It's my pleasure. I, I guess I just think every kid needs a dad. Well, I'm here for Danielle. I'm going to be the best dad and husband ever. And you guys, what can I say? Hey, I made a deal to get my old press back. Was that reward money from the DEA? Reward? These guys didn't tell you? Uh-uh. Well, Trent and Carlos put in the report that I was responsible for the heroin bust. I'm going to take that DEA reward and start my own business. That's great, Joe. Awesome. Yeah, um, is this, was this, was this a big reward? I know. They're crazy. We at least tried to pay them something. They wouldn't take it. <laughs> well, Kim said this one was on us, and when Kim says something, she means it. Yeah, that's right. Whatever you need in the way of printing, 
it's on me. Forever. Well, <laughs> well that's a... terrific.